There are a number of different ways in which we can represent a molecule in organic chemistry. We've got the molecular formula, structural formula, displayed formula, skeletal formula. You need to be clear about the differences between all of these. I'm going to use ethanol as my example. Ethanol has the formula CH3CH2OH. And this is its structural formula because I can see the way that the atoms relate to each other. I've got a CH3 group, a CH2 group, and then an OH. Molecular formula would be C2H6O. It just lists which atoms we've got and the number of each that we've got. It doesn't show me how the atoms relate to each other because C6, C2H6O could be not an alcohol, but an ether. It could be this molecule here. So structural formula is far more useful than a molecular formula. Sometimes we like to display the bonds and that would be a displayed formula. So carbon, carbon, hydrogens, you need to draw in the hydrogens, oxygen, hydrogen. That would be a full displayed formula. Although often we see it represented with the functional group, not showing the bonds between just OH on the end there. So there is my displayed formula. Skeletal formula are essentially the shorthand, and these are very, very useful. We're going to use them a lot, and they take a little bit of practice getting used to. Skeletal formulae are showing the bonds between the molecules plus the functional groups. We don't bother drawing in the carbon and the hydrogen. So for ethanol, it would look like so. I've got two carbons, so carbon number one, bond, carbon number two, and then O. Oh, H. Now I don't usually, when we were doing a skeletal formula, we would just show it as such. So this represents the first carbon atom. This is the second carbon atom. If there's nothing else shown, then we assume that they're hydrogen bonded to them. And these here are the bonds between the atoms. You'll notice that there is a shorter bond between the carbon and the functional group. Let's have a look at a slightly more complicated molecule. Uh, how about CH3, C, CH3, OH, CH3. So we've got a structural formula for a molecule. What does it look like? Well, I can draw it as a displayed. So carbon, carbon, I've got a side group here, carbon. That carbon is also bonded to an oxygen. Oh, my pen's not working. And another carbon. So and those would be hydrogens. In terms of skeletal formulae, my longest chain is one, two, three carbons. So one, two, three. I've got a branch, so there's the bond up to the branch, and that carbon is also bonded to an OH group, so there'll be a shorter bond to the OH group. There are lots of practice questions for these in your textbooks, so as always, go practice, 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 and get your head around skeletal formulae. If this has been useful, hit the subscribe button, the effortless way to support your studies. And by clicking the link in the blurb below, it will take you straight to the Crunch Chemistry School, where you'll find all the resources you need to get that A-star grade at A-level. Together, we can do this.